All right, so in this video, I wanna actually talk about VMware and uh, the importance of utilizing the proper amount of resources. As you see uh, currently, and I can go to my settings right here, and in my settings, I have currently have the settings set for the memory uh, right here set at, the RAM is going to be used at 32 gigs. Now I can adjust that right here to 16 gigs, 32 gigs, whatever the case may be, or even eight gigs, if you do not have the amount of resources to allocate to it. This does need to correlate to your host computer. How do you do that? You actually come right here and you go to, let's just, we're on Windows 10, so we can go right up here to Task Manager. Go to Task Manager, go to Performance, and that's gonna give you your indicator of how many gigs you have. Like currently my CPU, uh, I currently have 10 cores, right? I have 10 cores and I have 20 uh, logical processors that I can allocate to my VM in my virtual or my memory my ram i have 64 gigs currently in process from my host is 11 gigs so i only have 52 gigs i can dedicate to a actual vm that i want to run now that's a little excessive don't get me wrong um, sometimes at the very most i run 32 gigs but again when it comes down to it that depends on how you want to set up your system uh, when i talked about cores I talked about this is the processors that you're going to be using so that needs to line up with the cores that you're using uh, again you need to have less than the cores of your host meaning your if your host again i'll show my my uh, uh task measure and my host computer has 16 or has um my cores of 10 cores right and logical processors it has 20. so my vm when i crank my vm up is going to use six processors okay so it's going to use one core of six processors so it's going to use one of these cores and six six processors right so i'm perfectly fine to allocate that i can actually increase that if i want to get more throughput but again i'm not going to get that even as demanding as i use my vms you should not ever have to get that to that point right and again when it comes down to it it all depends on running it. So if you have problems running, I say all that to say, if you have problems running your VM, then you might want to adjust your RAM down, right? To 16 gigs or maybe eight gigs or four gigs, whatever the case may be, because you might not have the proper resources. As far as the cores, again, that very, very important, what this is gonna do, if you have way too many cores you're using on your processors, you can choose this right here, one, two, four, six, eight, 16, even 32. Uh, you can choose that right there. Now, right here, you have the same exact thing for cores. If you want to use more cores, again, if I use six right here, if I use two cores and six processors, it's going to give me 12 cores. Now, again, that just goes to the allocation you need to use. So I currently run six and one, but I'm running a very demanding system. You do not have to run that if you're not running a very demanding system. So keep in mind, if you're going, if you're, if you're having problems with your VM, you always can adjust these down to match your system, right? So if you're running a four core system, you run that down to two gigs. If you're running a 10 core system, six gigs is perfectly fine, or six six cores is perfectly fine, uh, logical processors. And again, uh, if you're running, like if you if you have four gigs, like an older system, I would run two gigs. Or, or if you have two cores or four cores, you, you run an older, older system, you would run two, two cores right here. Right, so if you're running a six core system or a eight core system, you need to run like four cores or something like that. That would be perfectly fine. Um, me personally, I have 10 cores, um, so I'm running six. And that's just because I want to use as much as I can to be as fast as I can, but also be, you know, obviously as good as I can. Also to another thing too, for accelerated graphics, I currently have mine. If you do not have a video card, do not select this. I have a video card with eight gigs. I have the recommendation, so I can check this box right here to say accelerated 3D graphics. I can check that box to get better throughput, to have my VM run better. And again, when it comes down to it, I can actually utilize that. Now, if I crank this VM up, you're gonna see, um, as I crank this up, you can see my gigs right here my RAM start to be utilized. So I'll actually crank this up. And as I crank it up, you'll actually see my RAM start being utilized right here as available. It's gonna start shrinking and showing in use. So in use as compressed. So currently you see that going from 50 down to 49, 
down to and you see the RAM that I'm allocating to it being currently used. You can also see my CPU usage is going up because again I'm using my cores on my host computer. I am utilizing that so it's using more CPU power for that. Now again I do have an i9 uh, 3.7 gigahertz so I can actually run this up to actually 5 gigahertz at overclock. So don't worry about that. You do have the allocourses, uh, allocated resources allocated if you do need it. Uh, just make sure you utilize this. And the best tool that I found to utilize this is going to be Task Manager. When you use Task Manager with uh, understanding your VMs, you can easily have fast running operating VMs like I do right here. I can do whatever I want to. Uh, perfectly fine, very fast, very effective. I have no slow throughput. I can shut it off, turn it on, shut it off, do whatever I want to really, really fast. And I have no problem whatsoever. Again, when it comes down to it, you can always adjust this stuff by going to VM and going to settings and then set your VM up that way. Make sure again, you do allocate the proper resources to meet the requirements of your host computer. With all that said, hopefully this was helpful and it did help you actually resolve the problem with your VM. And with that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.